Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we are following up our installation episode and we are going to get our network settings in line so that we can boot over the network from our FOG server. Let's get started. Okay, so we are on our FOG server and it's, it's set up. The one piece that we did not cover in the installation video that needs to be in place before we can start booting from the FOG server and saving images to the FOG server and deploying images from the FOG server is a DHCP option for TFTP and Pixie boot. And this is just the piece that allows you to boot over the network. I've got a bad drawing over here. You've got your router and your switch. Everything's connected to the switch. So in your router, you need to have DHCP option 66, which points to the fog server. And 67, which is going to be the file name that kicks off the boot process. So in our case, our FOG server is at the IP address 172.16.74.151. And our file name is going to be undionly.kpx. E. If you're running a home or consumer level router, you may not have access to these options. This is the reason that I'm personally running Unify. You could just as easily run an edge router also from Ubiquity, or you could be running something like PFSense. You could run Cisco, you could run an HP enterprise level something that's a little bit more robust than the quote unquote gaming routers that are sold at every big box store out there. All right, so let's switch over to our Unify dashboard and we will take a look at where those options exist. So you wanna hit settings, which is your gear icon down here, networks, and you would have to select which network you wanted. And this is my main LAN. And then you come down here under advanced DHCP options. And currently this is set to boot from 74.186, which was actually the IP address of the FOG server from the previous set of videos. But that doesn't exist on my network anymore. So we need to change this to 151. And again, the file name is undi only dot kpxe. When you've made this setting change, you click save and we can come back to devices. I'm not sure if that needs to reprovision. It does not look like it. All right, so at this point, we are set to be able to boot over the network from our one and only our production network and boot from the FOG server. So let me bring up VirtualBox. And we're just going to pick any old VM here. We're going to jump to system, network. We're going to set network as the first boot item. And OK. And then we're going to power on this item, our Mint 19.1 cinnamon VM that I haven't touched in a while, admittedly. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say switch. F12, it's attempting to boot from the network device. 
And so from here, we can boot from the hard drive, run memory tests. We haven't registered this device, so we are going to go ahead and register this device with the fog server. It's going to ask us a series of questions. And once we've answered the questions, it will save its configuration to fog and we'll shut it down and we'll go take a look at the changes it made in the server. And we'll say mint sin 1910. Enter. Associate with groups, no. No, no, no. I'm going to skip all of these. And no, we're not going to deploy an image now. Attempting to register host. And it's going to go through all that. And we're going to say power off. Let's switch back to our fog dashboard. We can refresh and it doesn't show anything there, but if we go to hosts and list all, we are in fact going to see mint cinnamon 1910 listed here. Does not have an image assigned to it. So, if we wanted to go ahead and image this, we would need to create an image first. New image. Mint cinnamon 1910. This is going to be Linux. This is single uh, multiple partition image, single disk. Partition everything. Compression six and we can change partition if we want. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say add. And then if we come back to hosts, list all, and we can Edit this. Host image is the Mint Sin 1910 that we just set up. Update. And then we come back here, list all hosts again. And we are going to set a capture task. We can come back to the dashboard. and bring our virtual box back up, launch our cinnamon boot from the network. And as we can see, it's registered and we are Not quite where we want to be yet. So we're going to close this down. Power off. All right, let's jump back to fog one more time. I may have misconfigured something. So let's look at hosts. List all hosts. Oh, yeah. Let's go back over here to our machine. I'm obviously missing something simple. Happens to even the best of us. Hosts. All hosts. Capture. Capture to an image. Okay, one more time. 
tasks. Active tasks. List all hosts. We want a capture task. Task successfully. Active tasks. Okay. For some reason, I don't think we had our task set up. We will try this one more time. And with a little luck, this will do what we want. Maybe. This looks better. This looks much better. So yes, uh, we did not have the task successfully scheduled. But it is running now, and if we come back to our dashboard, we can see the imaging done, and it should have look at receive it should show our progress so with a few little bumps in the road we have got this process started and we are successfully capturing an image from the Linux Mint virtual machine. And that is basically what I wanted to accomplish in this video. So we've made the change to our router so that it would boot from the network. We registered a host with fog. After a few tries, we got the capture task scheduled. And finally, we booted from the fog server and we started the capture process. The only thing that we have yet to explore is deploying a captured image, and we will do that in the next video. Until next time, this is Jeremy signing out for the Practical IT channel. I thank you once again for your support in the past. I look forward to bringing you great things in 2020, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please take a moment to do so. Like, leave comments, share the video on social media, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.